Trade What You See with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. <clears throat> okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Let's take a look here at the uh, German DAX. Let's get this up here so the folks can take a quick look at this. It was down sharply along with everything else, given the fact that they're talking about the tariffs. And boy, folks, that has uh, a lot of news going on. So you'll notice with this DAX 60-minute chart over the last three weeks, we had some really nice ABCD uh, patterns there, but the most important one you can see with the uh, beautiful fuchsia colored, uh, I don't know why they picked that one, but uh, Alan's a pretty sharp boy. Anyway, uh, that's a really nice three drive pattern. You have a nice ABCD pattern there, which is uh, you know pretty much uh, as symmetrical as you can get. Then the market had the big break, rallied up to the 61% retracement. And as you can see now, it's chopping around in the midst of that range. Where it goes from here, I'm not sure, but nobody else is either. So that's the main thing that we want to uh, take a look at. Folks, yesterday when we were talking about two things in the room, uh, one of them, you know, uh, one of the big advantages of being in the Tiger Den here is there's some really smart people. And uh, uh, they talked about the importance of that low that was made in the E-mini uh, S&P uh, yesterday. I will just want to bring this up because, folks, you know, being a technician, you do have some advantages because you, you don't have to worry about uh, – what's really going on you're right it was the due debt that was the she was the one talking about this but anyway look at the yesterday you see the huge gap down that we had there that was uh if you want to you want to defy human nature and, and i know you're not going to defy human nature because uh you just don't do that not one person of all the people sent me an email about what i talked about with the u.s dollar index weekly chart not one person that that uh, that does not make a teacher happy and i guess i'm not a teacher so I'll just keep on trading. Look at this E-mini 60-minute chart. The ABCD uh, measured, folks, the 28.87. The low was 28.84. From there, we rallied up uh, just about 50 handles. And that number that you hit yesterday at 29.40 was a 61% retracement of the high that we made on May 1st. And it was also just to shed over the 78% uh, level. And now you've you've broken down and come down. Now, what I did this morning is I posted the first post was to post the 15-minute chart of the E-mini showing you the support that could possibly be coming in. Remember, these are all possibilities. Uh, they're not certainties under any stretch of the imagination so you've got to remember that at all times but uh, some of the advantages of the den are that they post some of these really nice patterns and some the ones that work uh, are really great and the ones that work are not great that's just the bottom line now i want to walk through here just a little bit here with the footsie because uh, this is a real interesting one i'm going to start out with the daily chart and uh, you'll you'll see as you uh, uh, that we had that same three drive pattern that we had in the DAX that came in in late April, and then we had the little bit of the sell off uh, yesterday. And as we continue uh, to look at this, we want to move down to uh, what's happened so far today. We'll just go to a 60 minute chart to follow it through. And all I'm doing is to, uh, well, now, Mr. Bill, we're going to find out whether that 2904 is going to hold or not, Bubba. That's the bottom line. You know, either shake it off or move it on. That's all I can tell you. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But, you know, it's uh, it's one of those things. <laughs> all right, it's okay, dollar bill. Anyway, let's move on here to keep talking about this uh, this footsie because you'll notice here we've had a, a pretty good move and we're heading down here to the 61% retracement. And this was posted about a little over an hour ago, so we might be there right now at that 72.90 level in the um, in the FTSE, so pay attention. Folks, there is so much going on with the news, with this uh, Chinese stuff. I, I 
the only thing I do, the first thing I do when I get up in the morning is I turn Bloomberg on to see if the world has ended. As long as the world has not ended, then I check. The first thing I check are the price of the currencies because that's the real money moving back and forth. The second thing I do is I check the gold market. The third thing I do is I check the stock indices. And the fourth thing I do is I, I check the bonds. Once I look at that, then I say, okay, this is what I'm watching for the day. I have my setups. And that's what I try to look at. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, but they work more often than they fail. That's the that's the bottom line of uh, what we're watching. Uh, the move that we had uh, on Monday was not unexpected. There were a lot of things saying that that was going to happen. We we talked about them in the newsletter quite a bit, and one of them, of course, was the big three drive pattern that we had uh, in the uh, E mini S and P. We also had that same pattern. Uh, completing in the NASDAQ. The IWM was lagging behind, but that's it. But another one, you know, we have a lot of students and friends over in Hong Kong, and this one was really screaming that there was a lot of resistance, and this market looked like it was, you know, ready to go. And as you can see here, we had a 5%, 4.5% drop uh, in the NASDAQ, excuse me, in the Hang Seng Index. So now this all might not be worth anything. This might go back and make new highs, and if it does, then you're going to, we're going to go a lot higher. So we don't know, but nobody else does either. That's the key to, to all this. You have to take responsibility, just like Bill, Dollar Bill just posted. I don't. Where's it at? Where's it trading at now? 29.04 was the last post. Uh, you have to risk about eight cents on that because the volatility is such that you're trading $140,000 contracts. So you got to risk about 400 bucks. So that's what I would be watching. It's got a chance. You know, it's a very nice little small ABCD Gartley pattern. Whether it holds or not uh, remains to be seen. But it's all probabilities. Folks, I will tell you this. The ones that I think are the most 100%, those are the ones you've really got to be scared of. I mean, those, because when I, when I get my opinion into this, it's not good to have that opinion. So uh, you got to be careful. And I try to warn you. I've been warning everybody about the gold. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, we'll see. Anyway, um, anyway, oh, you're, it's trading 2906. Hey, that's that's 100 clams, babe. Put that money in the bank. So we got one good trade today. Good job, dollar bill. I shouldn't even joke about that, should I? But I did. Anyway, uh, let's uh, let's move on here uh, to the next uh, next thing that I want to talk about was the gold. And that is. Uh, that, I don't think that's long-term capital gains because I think it's less than 15 minutes dollar bill, but we'll see. Uh, the gold is beginning to look like uh, it, it, it's down to its last legs, I believe, folks. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to hold this level or not. Uh, you know, we're, uh, we're, we, we made it a little bit lower low uh, overnight, which was really – one second, please, <clears throat> which was really not very much. So I would say that uh, it's got a possibility of uh, – still has a possibility of going higher, but it's beginning to look a little bit suspect. And uh, the reason why I say that, that head and shoulders pattern that we had in the gold was so perfect that uh, – and we have that perfect ABCD, too, on the weekly. None, nothing's failed yet, but why isn't it screaming to the upside? Usually with news like we had with – broken tariffs or whatever you want to call it that market will get more of a push but you know all the commodity markets got whacked we'll be right back 877-927-6648 The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. 
the TAS Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of TAS Market Profile, the TAS Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, let's take a look here at the uh, Treasury bonds. And you'll notice that uh, we did make that 61% retracement up there at 148.24. Uh, we came down uh, just exactly one handle to 127.24. We're now trading at 148.12. That tells us that this looks like it wants to move up to the 149 level. Now, whether that's going to be the case or not, We'll have to wait and see, but uh, it does look like it has enough power uh, to at least make that 149.22 level, which will be the 78% uh, level from the high that we made back on March the uh, 27th. That's also, if you'll defy human nature and do the work yourself, in the words of Mr. Jim Twentyman, uh, you'll have an ABCD up there at 149.22, and that would make that a uh, Gartley uh, sell signal. I was able to talk to Mr. Twentyman yesterday and chatted again, and uh, he said to say hello to everybody, and I asked him, how would you like to come on to the uh, radio show? And he laughed, and he said, maybe in another lifetime. <laughs> Jim, Jim is the absolute definition of a recluse, a super nice guy, but uh, Anyway, we'll just move on to another thing, and we'll, we'll see what's going on here. Folks, we need to talk just a little bit, uh, several requests, and I know we don't follow this uh, very often, but let's take a look at uh, this cryptocurrency that we look at, which is Bitcoin. Uh, as you can see here, you know, we had a whole lot of numbers there. You see that really nice uh, three-drive pattern coming in at 5,800. We backed off to 5,600, and then look at it. It's trading right near 6,000 this morning. That's taken out a lot of power, folks. 
And remember, down there on the 14th of, um, uh, in early January, if you notice that, you, you know, around the 14th, we were making, it was actually, it occurred in February, hit it twice. But in February, we were making that beautiful garlic pattern at 3400 and, you know, this thing is doubled in price. Now, whether it's going to go from here or not, I don't really know, but it's acting uh, pretty nice, if nothing else. We got a caller from uh, from uh, from Permis, New Jersey, I guess. Victor, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Uh, ARMK. Uh, it came and, out with some bad earnings. It came out with some bad earnings. Where do you think it's going to go? It looks like it's going to blow out everything. AMRK? Okay, if you'll give me a second, what I have to do is I have to come in and put this into my list because I don't follow stocks, but it'll just take me a second to do it. And uh, AMRK, and it'll only take me a second here. How bad were the earnings? I mean, what uh, what were they expecting? They were down like 40%, I think, because they're Whoa, the Super that's, Bowl. That's and that, uh, that's weather. a serious <laughs> that's a serious miss <laughs> hold on nothing like what we had with google i guess but hold on amrk where is it hey here we go here we got we're going to put it up here in just a second and we'll take a look at it i show it trading at 1095 is it not trading oh, there a r m k a r m k a r m k oh i put a m r k oh it's tough when you're an italian this is a r m k is what you want yeah Okay, just give me a sec. A R M K, and it's a Tuesday, so that doesn't make any sense. But let's get this up here. The problem is when I don't trade stocks, uh, Victor. What I've got to do is I've got to put it into my database, and my computer asks me, "What the heck are you doing trading stocks?" And I say, "Well, I'm trying to help Victor yeah. out from New Jersey." So, give me a yeah, second right. now. My, my data is Most slowing corrupt. down. Here we, we go. should be all right. Oh dear, hold on one second. Oh, someone asked me a question this morning, but hold on. We should get it up here now. A-M-R-K, A-R-M-K, correct? Yep, yep. Okay, there we go. Let's we'll get it up here. It's 30, okay, it's 31 was the last trade I'm showing, and it's trading at 2808 right now. Yep. So, and oh, then that, it IPO'd I, and it's below its IPO price, I think. Uh, well, that don't mean much. Let's just look at this on a weekly basis so we can see uh, what it looks like, and then we'll. Well, it's going. It's going to open right down near some pretty uh, the old support here. Hold on, let's post this so everybody in the room can see it. It's going to open right in its area where it was before. But I, frankly, this is a much weaker than market stock, so mm -hmm. I would I wouldn't touch this. No, I. Uh, it's yeah, trading. Right, yeah. you, call, you call that other one out perfect. That B. G G, you know what I mean? Well, I get there. I get one every year, so you happen to yeah, get the other. Yeah, I know, but I couldn't buy it at two, 1040. It, it went to 1040 for two seconds, and it blew all the way up higher. You should check that for yeah. out again, because I'm waiting for a retracement, I guess. Well, w wait for that retracement. Don't chase the markets. It's not good to Don't do that. Don't touch this one, then, you're saying. Stay away. Okay, okay. Well, listen, thanks for calling in. I appreciate right. it. Thanks. Bye. You bet. Okay, folks, let's move on to the next one we want to cover, and that is the uh, – we talked about the Treasury bonds. Um, watch the Treasury bonds, folks. If we get to 149.22, uh, that will be the 78% retracement of the, the uh, big 61% number of the long-term daily, which is 150.20. Above 150.20, it could go a little bit higher, and with the news out there – going on with tariffs and all the other stuff. God only knows what's going to happen, and she's not trading these days. So we'll keep a close eye on that for sure. Um, I want to spend just a moment here uh, for those of you that are out there struggling, and I know there's some out there struggling, that's for sure. Try to find something simple, folks. If you want to do pattern recognition, I posted a little chart in here uh, on the euro. It's a 15-minute chart over the last five days. And just go through and just look at and study the chart. Look for the ABCD patterns. You can see the one little three drive that I measured there. But also study the swings that are there, especially from Friday, you know, every three or four days. You have these big swings like we had during the May 1st to May 5th or May 3rd, but then you have the smaller swings, and study those swings, and you'll notice that most of the swings that you occur in the uh, euro are going to be between 35 and 50 pips. That's right near the harmonic number of 40 pips. And when you see a big one, it'll be twice that, and that'll be 80 pips. If you notice at the very bottom there on March 3rd, you see that little red box there. Well, it's not a box. It's a little red uh, 
dotted line that says 85, that means it was 85 pips down from the high. And that's, uh, that high was on May 2nd. So that's two times the harmonic number. And that'll start, you'll start to understand, you know, what the euro is doing. And it's more, more or less like a DNA of how the market actually runs. And believe me, this is the largest traded thing in the world, folks. Uh, this is uh, this trades trillions of dollars a day. I mean, this is dwarfs what happens in the stock and bond market combined. So that's why it's such a good one. Has good fills, the margins extremely low, and those are the ones that are great. The second one that I would pick would be the corn market. That's also another one that is really good. You can't hurt yourself on either one of those markets, and it'll help you understand how these markets swing because you've got to learn – you know the actual mechanisms of how these things go up and down. If you're if you're going to try to do it, I I've had very little su success with the moving averages because they're lagging, and uh, I think you can't be lagging these markets. You have to be uh, leading them uh, just a little bit. So we'll see if that is going to be the uh, the case. Mr. Z is waiting for 2786 in the ES. Well, Mr. Z. That won't happen today, but you never know. We'll have to wait and see. That's the uh, bottom line, so we'll keep an eye on that. All right, let's move on here to uh, double-check one other thing, and then we'll be right back. Uh, we got a break coming up. Holy moly, guacamole, and then we'll be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting...
This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, this will be one of the few times that I post a trade in here. I don't know why I did that this morning. Someone asked me and I did it. I wish I hadn't have done that because you have to take responsibility for these trades, not me. But the 2904, that's the pattern that we're looking at. That's a Gartley pattern. Given the volatility that we have now, you have to risk $0.08, cents, $400, as opposed to the usual $0.05. Cents. That's my two cents worth. And if it moves in your favor, five cents, put your stop at break even. I don't know if it'll work or not. And believe me, some of these patterns don't work. And in, in remembering that, we were talking about this thing in the cattle here uh, several weeks ago. We had the ABCD pattern you see coming in at 114. Big, big gap down, tail closes. Just tremendous bearishness, and we were warning you that we were going to go through. Look how it went through on the cattle. We went through the 61% retracement at 111. We went through the 78% level. That was that was a trade I did yesterday. I bought the cattle, and uh, I was out of them in just a hurry. They dropped two cents, and then rallied back a little bit. So anyway, these patterns fail, but you've got to remember that you're the one that's taking response, responsibility for them. Figure you're going to be right about in 10 trades, you'll probably be right about six times out of 10. You'll have two losers of full maximum losers, and you probably have one or two break-evens really close. That's what the usual probabilities are on this over a, a long-term you know, thing. You're not, you'll have periods of run-ins where you can't lose anything. you just be feel like you're invincible, and then you won't be able to feel you'll be able to find your hat in the rain. So you've got to work through those. That's the main thing that you're trying to get. Okay, I've got a notice here to check my email, which I'm not going to do right now, MR, but I will do it just as soon as I can, and we'll move on to that. Oh, I know one thing that I did want to mention here since MR sent me this. I wanted to show you this is another question about the uh, the Elliott Wave Theorist. Now, this is going back uh, to the 1920s. Uh, that was actually before I was born. Anyway, you'll notice they're talking about this grand super cycle and all these things like that. Folks, this to me is so... I, I know it's great educational, and I, I understand it uh, has some predictive qualities, but for me, it, it's, it doesn't have any, any trading... Uh, uh, for what I do, I mean, I, I'm not I'm not worried about these long super cycles. I mean, you're talking something 100 years, you know. So I'm I'm looking at something that is, uh, you know, in the last four hours or eight hours or ten hours or three days, because if I do that, then I can, you know, control my risk. How do I control my risk on a hundred year cycle? You know, I don't know. Uh, that's just my two cents worth. And I I was born on the same day that Al, Ralph Elliott. We have the same birthdays, July 28th. He's quite a bit older than me. He died in 48, I believe. But uh, anyway, that's nearly what I, uh, that's what I thought. Okay. Uh, did we get the, the S&P got up to 2909? So if you did that 04, you should be at a break-even stop now, 2904. And uh, that's what I would do. I don't know if it traded there. Do that? Did it hit uh, 29.09? I don't know if it did. So uh, it, it, okay, 29.10, 10.4. That's a big 10.4 rubber duck. Lock it up, run it out, move them on out. All right, let's move on here to a couple of things. The grain markets, uh, we had a little bit of a move yesterday, nothing to be excited about, but uh, there is a, uh, a lot of talk in the green business, folks, about the China thing. I spent some time yesterday with Cy Moley and also Rich Anderson, and believe me, it is on the uh, it's on the desks of all the people in the green business from uh, any of the big green companies. So they're watching this very, very closely. Frankly, I don't think it makes any difference because these things have been going down for weeks and waiting for something like this to happen. We had we had a couple of chances at the bottom there, but like we say, there are chances, and those didn't work, so you've got to wait to see this. But uh, we are nibbling here, and we uh, see what's happening. Uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Anything can happen with this Chinese thing, folks. You know, I, I'm not one to think and, and try to walk through uh, what they're trying to go through in their brains like the Chinese premier... Uh, guy, the second premier guy, I don't know who he is, but uh, 
uh, Sarah's not here to correct me on what the pronunciation is, so uh, I, I don't know what they're doing. All I'm doing is just looking at the charts. You know, that's that's led me to the promised land as near as I can tell. So all I know is long-term, this thing doesn't look very good. That's the bottom line in the stock market. That's These long-term patterns just do not look that good, and we're seeing divergences in some of them, so that's another one. The other thing is, folks, I listened to a, uh, a very short 15-minute description of what uh, this uh, social media is doing to us from the UK. Also, it was, it was regarding the US, is uh, how Google and Facebook are controlling the media and weeding out people that they that don't have the same political uh, f fields that they have. So this is not good for free press. Unfortunately, they're controlling all this stuff, and with a billion users a day, they got us by the short hairs. I don't know what's going to happen with it, but remember that uh, don't always listen to what you hear because it might not be true. Just like when you trade what you see, not what you think. That's the bottom line here, folks. Keep a close eye on that for sure. All right, let's move on here to uh, the next one here. Uh, to see what's going on. I, folks, I really don't, <laughs> some, some of you folks are asking me if I really don't read anything. Honest to God, I really don't. I have not read a magazine or a newspaper in years. I mean, years. I haven't even seen a newspaper. Well, I see them, but I don't, you know, I might look at the headlines as I walk past the supermarket or something, but to pick up a newspaper or uh, a magazine like that, uh, I, I did see a magazine on the, on the, over the weekend, it was from the uh, National, uh, what's that one, uh, big one, uh, National Geographic, and it was about Leonardo da Vinci, and I said, gee, I'm going to buy that, and I picked it up, I thought it was going to be about $4.00. It was $16 for a little magazine, you know, so I'm saving up for it, you know, maybe four or five weeks when I get the 16 bucks, it'll be reduced by 30% and I'll get a good deal on it. But I'd, I've been to Vinci, Italy to see where he lived and I've been to all the museums. Uh, every time it comes to the United States, I always go see the uh, Da Vinci uh, exhibit that when they first came to the United States 20 years ago at the, at the New York uh, Museum. I, uh, Byron's uh, wife is Byron Tucker's wife was on the board there, and uh, she got me a free uh, pass where I went in before it opened, and I had my own guide walking me through the whole exhibit, explaining the whole thing for three hours. And the line out there was about three and a half blocks around the building, and it was raining, so I felt really great. But uh, if you go to Italy, Vinci, Italy is far, far up in the mountains, folks. Uh, it's, a, it's all about Leonardo, but boy, you got to really love the guy to go up there because there's not much else up in that little area, but it is really beautiful. It's equivalent to the wine country in California. It's so, so incredibly beautiful. Anyway, let's move on. Oh, one of the things that I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to set up with uh, TFNN to do a webinar describing, you know, my history through some of these patterns and where they came from and the relationships of the numbers, a little bit of astrology. And, uh, you know, to some of you folks that are new out there, you might like to see that. But uh, we're, I'm in the process of working with the O'Briens to see if I can get this out. 877 If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. 
That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large-cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, uh, I see that the S&P did get up to the eight-point profit, 2912. Um, if you bought it at 04, got out at date, so that's four cents. Let's take a look here at this thing we got from our good friend MR up in Washington, state of Washington. Anyway, you'll notice here this is the U.S. dollar index. It also has a sentiment index under that. Basically, what he's showing here is a potential topping pattern here in the U.S. dollar index. What I suggested yesterday, I will resuggest again today, and that is take a look at the weekly. U.S. dollar index, folks, it is screaming to you, please look at me, please look at me, please look at me. So pay attention to that chart. It's very, very important. Defy human nature. Do the work yourself. What I have a problem with with the Elliott Wave, as I've mentioned many times, are these. If you look at the period between October and January of 2018, where they have these little one, two, three subdivided fours and fives, I've sat in a room with some of the best Elliott people in the world, uh, Bryce Gilmore, Bob Miner, et cetera, et cetera, Tony Plummer, and they'll be arguing whether it's a three or a five, and I'm in there buying or selling because I don't care whether it's a three or a five. I just know that at that point, the ratios and patterns are telling me that risk is such and such. So I know Elliott Wave is the way to go, but uh, when you come to the fork in the road, make sure you take that fork, and my fork is to say, I like A, B, C, D, and I like the ratios, and I like the patterns. That's what I understand. It's easy for me to describe it that way, but when you get these little sub-minute waves, it gets really, really tough. It's very unusual for the Elliott wave. Different. They will have a different opinion of the market than I do. That will be very, very unusual. I mean, I'm looking at it a different way, but uh, we'll have to be able to see. Uh, 2886. Is it starting to break down now? Okay. Uh, anyway, that's uh, this. The market has extremely bearish negativity, folks, and that is mainly because of those big patterns that we had up here for weeks now, with that three drive pattern in the Nasdaq and the S and P, and the Dow Jones was lagging. The uh, Wilshire was lagging. The uh, uh, the little one, the Russell was lagging. All of those. 
we're uh, you know we're lagging. So that's what we're keeping an eye on. Okay, the oil is. Uh, Oh, let's get to the oil. Very good, Terry. We want to get to the oil. Very, very important. Here's the oil. This is uh, where we were yesterday. We talked about this on yesterday. Yesterday's low was uh, the key of the day. We went down to that. The low that we hit yesterday was 60.30. We then rallied $2.50 a barrel uh, to get up to the uh, 63 level, almost 62.85. That was a 135 pattern, as you can see. Folks, we've got a lot of support coming in here. Or, or let's let's rephrase that, boys and girls. There is some support coming in at this 61.25 level uh, in the crude oil. That's that's some support. Anything below 60.90 uh, is telling you that that support does not look very good. But uh, this pattern is an ABCD pattern that completed yesterday. It's the second one that we have since March. You know that we had one on March the 8th. That was another ABCD pattern. And the second one happened yesterday. Now, whether it's going to hold or not, we don't know. But nobody else does either. we got to remember that. Uh, Let's keep an eye out on that one because it's going to be a really interesting one to watch to see how it uh, to see how it unfolds. Okay, now the next one, uh, next well, the question about Apple, folks. The the Apple chart that we talked about yesterday. Uh, I I wanted to just that's not the one I want to see. Hold on just a second. Give me a second here. I don't have the Apple chart. And, oh yes, I do. Yes, I do. Let me get it here. It'll be under the Fang section. And then we should be able to get it without. There it is. Here's what we were watching in the Apple. And we did not get it. You see here, in order for this to be a potential island reversal, you'll notice that we closed at 211.75 on Friday. That had to close at around 207, or not 207, 208 or 209. Then you had the possibility. Now, it did gap down uh, to 203 or something, but that's not the island reversal because you, you you don't know that you have to get the market to be uh, right near where you sold it right on the close and that's not that's not what happened here so that's not a good uh, that's not a good pattern so that's neither here nor there so I just wanted to re to remind you we talked about it several times but you know sometimes I I forget and I certainly don't like to do that so keep an eye on that anyway you know, Apple has got the most uh, well Google gets quite a bit of press too but Boy, that Apple sure gets a lot of free press. That's uh, that's truly an amazing thing. Uh, all right, folks, give me one second here. I want to double check. I got a couple orders setting out here, and uh, to see if they're going to be uh, working or not. And uh, we'll just move there on. Let's see what we've got here. You got to keep an eye on this uh, this euro, folks. It's got a. It's just really going to be interesting here to see what happens. Now we got up to. Uh, 29.12. We're coming down on the S&P again, down to 29.04 again. So I, I'm not going to rebuy that there because it's already back through that low. That's telling you that it's probably going to go, you know, just a little bit lower. So let's uh, remind ourselves that that is some support, but it might not last very long. Remember, that's the 61.8 percent report uh, support, and the 78 percent level on the S&P comes in down around 2897 uh, uh, so that's uh, that's also a possibility that's one of the reasons when you're trading a 15 minute chart remember you're not uh, you're not trading an hourly chart you're not trading a daily chart you're trading a 15 minute chart so you set your risk parameters on a 15 minute chart you set your profit parameters on a 15 minute chart and that's what you do now sometimes you're right sometimes you're wrong now someone just asked me would I rebuy it at 28.97, and my answer is yes, I would, because if it did it the first time, it might do it the second time. I don't know which one's going to fail, but I've got one under my belt that looks okay, so I'm going to try it again. So we'll just look at it again here and see if it's going to work or not. All I know is long term, the stocks are looking very bearish, folks. That's a long term, uh, long term thing. So keep a keep a close eye on it. That's not a uh, you know, that's not one that you want to uh, play around with because it's got a really big chance. So far, we've been to, what, 20? Uh, here, I can pull this up for just a second here. 28, well, did we break it? Uh, yeah, we hit 28.98.75. So we need to get to 28.98 uh, in order to be a buyer. And if you buy it there, you risk your, uh, your uh, 8 cents. 
and you'd put your stop in at 2890. So whether that's going to happen or not, uh, I don't know. The crude oil just went through the 61% retracement at uh, 6125. Uh, we're now trading at 6117. So here's another one because of the pattern that we had yesterday with that big two and a half dollar rally and now we're giving all of it back that those are things that uh, are telling you that hey pay attention you know I'm not following through like I used to in the old days so all these things are getting uh, very very interesting for sure so that's what I'm keeping an eye on here this morning and guess what boys and girls the old clock on the wall says that Mr. Rogers is almost done I'll re I'll repeat one more time Look at that long-term weekly chart on the year, on the U.S. dollar index. It's a very, very interesting chart, and I think you should pay uh, really close attention to it because it's got uh, it's got a chance to do something uh, you know pretty significant in in my opinion. But again, that's my opinion, and opinions are like armpits. Everybody has one, and it usually smells. Keep an eye on it, folks. That's all I can tell you. When it gets to that point, I'll tell you why. Not until you got to do the work yourself. 877-927-6648. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done in the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. All right, we're back, folks, and we're going to keep an eye on these markets. We did get down to the 78 level in the S&P at 28.98. The low was uh, 28.95.50. Uh, if you bought that, 
at I'd put your stop and don't even risk eight cents, just risk five cents. Put your stop at uh, twenty eight ninety three. Anyway, that's what we're looking at uh, tomorrow. We will keep an eye on some of these markets to see if they're going to hold up these levels or not. But longer term, we still think we're going lower in stocks, lower in bonds. And the bonds might get a little bit higher, but I don't think so. But we'll have to you know, do one day at a time with that. The crude oil now has broken below the 61% retracement, which was at uh, 61.22. We got down to uh, 61.01. We're trading at 61.06. That doesn't look too swift. Uh, gold's not doing very much today. So just keep your powder dry. Also remember, folks, if you're trading a 15-minute S&P chart, that's not a weekly chart. That's not a daily chart. It's a 15-minute chart, so your objective should be laid out on that 15-minute chart, not any other chart, because that's all that is, all that's understand is that. So that's either here or there. So keep an eye on it. That's all I can say. Very interesting. All right. Uh, we've got another. Oh, remember, your homework. Do the work on your uh, dollar index weekly. And if you see something that you, interests you, drop me an email, and I'll see if you win the prize of the week. We'll work at that as we go through. Tomorrow, I'm hoping to have a mystery guest. The odds are 40, 60 that we're going to get him because he's extremely busy, but I'm going to keep trying to do that. We'll have um, next week, we're going to have uh, Stan Harley on and then also Tim Bost. I'm going to try to have Tim on this week because he's got a real interesting uh, newsletter uh, this week that is quite, uh, quite informative. I'll try to get him on uh, tomorrow. And then we'll uh, see what happens. So remember, live every day in an attitude of gratitude. And be sure that you uh, take care of yourself and also take care of some other people, too, because they got a whole lot less than you, boys and girls. 